want your kids to be in show business or would you like them, because a lot of people, m myself included, I don't want my kids anywhere near show business. I want them to like sell linoleum or something. Um, uh, you know, I, I kind of want some of that Miley money. I mean, <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, Billy, Billy Ray did it. He was like, you know, I'm getting them to work their tongue act. I'm like, uh -huh. I'm giving them foam fingers. I'm teaching them how to twerk in ill-fitting outfits. I'm like, work it girls, work it. Come on, someday, VMAs, we're gonna make some big money. <laughs> Come on girls, back to one, back to one. Let's do this again. More tongue. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah! Yeah. Worst dad. Worst dad. Worst dad ever. And the results are in and you're, yes, you're worst dad ever. <laughs> Come your on, wife has got to be worse. Your wife, no, no, no. Your wife of six years, uh, the beautiful Rebecca Romain, who right? I've been obsessed with for years. For a decade. For years. She, I found out the last time she was on the show, we're talking, and it, she just revealed that she never changed her name. Right. She never became Rebecca Romain O'Connell. O'Connell. Right. Well, I mean, listen, I, look, I was a fan of my wife's when my wife was Rebecca Romain. My wife was a, a pretty famous swimsuit model. It would be gross if my wife took my name. I mean, I'm like, I, I would be grossed out by that. I, I only know her as Rebecca Romain. I'm a fan first, husband second. <laughs> I mean, even the thought of it, I wouldn't take O'Connell. I was thinking about actually taking Romain. Jerry O'Connell Romain. Hey, Romaine is a much cooler last name than some O'Brien or O'Connell. Right. I, they're just so, uh, my wife's maiden name was much cooler than my name. I should have taken her name. Uh, you know, this is uh, 2013. Maybe things are changing. All kinds of things are changing with marriage. Who knows? Take it, Conan. I dare you. <laughs> I know a lawyer over on Ventura. He can make it happen. You're right next to the park. Really? Yeah. You've done that fast? <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Um, no, I, uh, I, I find that to be a fascinating thing that you didn't, so you know, it wasn't even a discussion with you guys, whether we do it or whether we not do it. Uh, no, I, uh, not at all. Okay. Uh, really, I, I, it's not, um, it's, why, why, why? 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 It's old fashioned. Who needs that? Uh, I think it is, yeah. Yeah. All right, I want to ask you about, you play on the show, you play uh, an OBGYN. Yes, or as I refer to it, a lady doctor. <laughs> lady doctor. Lady doctor. Yeah, because okay. sometimes I mess up the letters, so I just say lady doctor. It makes it easier. That must, that must inspire a lot of confidence in your patient. Well, <laughs> OBG, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's sort of difficult. You can't really do research for it. You can't say to an, a lady doctor, um, you know, is it okay if I tag along? You know, I mean, it's like... <laughs> it's not like... If you're gonna play a cop and you ride around with a cop. <laughs> right, I mean. You can't do that with an OBGYN. Yeah. You can't be like, oh, you know, I'm an actor and I'm gonna be here while you. Yeah. A woman with her legs up in the stirrups. Is that Jerry O'Connell? <laughs> I mean. No, it's Jerry Romaine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are private moments. There, there's no way I could do research for this role like, you, you know, like Daniel Day Lewis would, you know? Yeah. Do you, do you think you'd make, I mean, you've played the role, do you think uh, you, you would make a, a good lady doctor? Um, no, I would not. Um, you know, I, I, I have dealt with lady doctors in the past. My wife had children and you deal with them like, yes, and all that stuff. And it was, uh, I, you know, I was in the room when my kids were born and it was a stressful time. I was not doing well. All, all, all I remember is the anesthesiologist who's there, you know, medicating your wife who was doing all the work, uh, leaning over to me and going, hey man, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> and I guess, uh, you know, you wear that germ thing and I was breathing in and out very heavily. It was, uh, you know, I, I, I thought in the old days it was like old movies where like dads like paced in the hallway and smoked cigars and then a nurse came out and said, whether it's a girl or a boy, you know, I, I know like for a fact that my dad wasn't in the room at all. <laughs> I don't even know if he was near the hospital. I don't even know if he was in the same country. We know, but we know what he was wearing. Uh, yeah. That's the thing, it's like, Speedo, I, I think about like, is the, the stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But there's that old Ricky, Lucy, you know, the Lucy show where like Ricky is in the club doing his job and they come in and go, what's up, you know, it's a boy. And he's like, sick eyes for everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. no, now they've got us in there taking the baby out. And yeah. Um, pay me, I say, pay yeah. me if I'm pulling the baby out. Um, one of my friends said, did you take pictures? And I was like, hell to the no. Like, <laughs> I was barely conscious. 